at the base of the mountain there. Or a rock. It's just a big rock. And then once you cross this bridge, you make your way up the trail there, and the trail wraps around and wraps around and goes winds its way up. Most of the time you can see people climbing the mountain, like right here. Let's see if I can zoom in. These crazy people, these spider monkeys. <sighs> You won't see me doing that. Actually, no, this trail here goes around in a big circle around the whole rock and then comes back right here. That's just a nice walk. The steep trail is, oh, straight ahead where we're going. It goes up here. There's the river. Here's a better shot of the climbers. See, they're just getting started. People come from all over the world to climb Smith Rock. It's just such a perfect climbing service. It's tall and flat, has lots of grip holes and footholds. And uh, they love it. I'm going to go up the stairs here and just walk the trail, see where those people are up there. And it just kind of wraps around the whole rock. I don't know how high I'm going to get today because I'm pretty out of shape and it's very windy. But, uh, we'll see. <laughs> Misery Ridge. Sounds fun, doesn't it? Yeah. Here we go. On your way up, there's a lot of these little alcoves here in the rocks. You can see. Little, just cool little places that have been carved out by the wind. This is where the Native Americans used to hang out. Maybe we can find some stuff hidden in there. Should I reach my hand in there? <laughs> cool little cave here. There's the bridge where we came from, and uh, everybody here, we're, we're actually not very far up the, <laughs> the rock, but I am already out of breath. Whew. I think I'm just going to go to the first plateau up here and call it good because after that is the really brutal part. It is really steep and long and windy, and even when I'm in good shape, it's still pretty tough, so I don't want to totally wreck myself for tomorrow. I don't know when they put these stairs in, but it was a long time ago. Whew. This is a really um, dangerous trail because it's steep and it's really loose, rocky soil and Every single year, sadly, at least one person slips and falls down and dies. You know, they, they don't watch their footing or, or something. Ironically, it's not the climbers that, that get killed. It's just the, just the people walking along the edge. So you gotta be careful. All right, I think I'm headed for just past that point there. I probably shouldn't video right now because I'm so out of breath. <laughs> but uh, 
So we're getting up there now. And I go through, I just imagine when you see these, you just imagine all the Native Americans that used to live and roam through these hills. This whole territory was covered with Native American tribes. And they all live on, in their own uh, communities and towns about a half hour away from where we are now. But I can just picture them when I walk through these areas. You can just imagine them traveling through here. And they found tons of artifacts in caves and in the mountains all over around here. This place is full of history. The rock that we're on right now, in fact, all of these rocks, here, I get a better view over here. Oh, here we go. Climb up on this thing. So, all of these rocks that you're seeing, Hey, <laughs> hello world. There's a face up here still. These, uh, these were all formed supposedly millions of years ago. And uh, I read about it. They said volcanic pressure just made these rocks shoot right up right out of the ground and that's why they have these jagged looks to them it's like spears that just were forced up through the ground and forming this awesome natural structure Whew. so all right i just gotta make it past this this last ridge here and then i'll be up there and then i'm calling it for that cold air now. It's keeping me cool. I'm actually sweating pretty good. I've got a heavy jacket on over a heavy wool hoodie. I love all the colors in these rocks. Greens, yellows, reds. You got like the algae and lichens and different things on there. Pretty cool. Alright, I had to take about a 15 minute rest here because I was just getting jelly legs and too winded. But uh, ready to go again. And I'm going to try to finish getting up there. <laughs> this is where it starts getting hard. When you reach this spot and up, that's this is really the killer spot. So I thought I'd, I'd get some rest so I feel refreshed now. By the time you get to this point, it starts getting really steep, so you really start to feel it. Plus, you're getting higher and higher elevation, so I imagine that accounts for some of it. But man, as soon as you hit this spot here, you really start to feel it. I took right after my rest. I started walking. I was just right there. I got up here and I'm already winded again. <laughs> it's just so steep. But I hear even like 18 year olds and stuff walking by panting, so it makes me feel better. Oh, we are almost there. I can't believe I've gone this high. This is the hardest part. That's the plateau we're going for right there. I can't believe I'm doing this well. <laughs> it's like a ball. The whole thing is like a ball. <laughs> you know, I could just take a shortcut and just, I could just climb up here. What do you think? I could probably pull it off, huh? Looks easy. You know. All right, everybody.
everybody. This is it. This is the last staircase. Right before we get to the first plateau. This definitely looks like something out of a movie. Princess Bride, maybe. Monty Python. <laughs> Expecting to see the Bridge of Death. The castle. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, y'all. I just wanted to document this just once. <laughs> oh, this is it. Of course, this is just the first plateau. This isn't the very top. But we've definitely done the hardest part. Oh, man. Just don't fall right here. It'd be like Homer Simpson. Don't, 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 don't. Huh. I like this tree. This old gnarly twisted tree. Probably been up here for a thousand years. This is it, y'all. I did it. Whew! After a year of Corona sitting and eating, I made it to the top of Misery Ridge. Whew. That's right. There's ice up here though, so you gotta be careful. Whew! Let's go a little higher. Don't drop your phone. Nice. <laughs> That's where we came from. All the way down there. And there's the parking lot. And there's the central We did it. We made it. I can't believe I made it to the top. But I'm standing here. Oh, man. There it is. We just got a little bit higher to go. Up on the tip top of those rocks there. But that's the easy part. It's basically just one more minute of walking. So we gotta do it. I'm actually pretty proud of myself. Sitting around doing nothing but eating. 43 years old. On the top of baby. Misery Ridge. It was easy. All right, I gotta document the last few feet. We're leaving the plateau, and it's just a little. <laughs> just a little easy trail. I'll have to censor this video later. There's people behind me. <laughs> See, there's all kinds of spots you can all right y'all well my good camera just died wouldn't you know it right before i got to the very top but i got my back up uh, let's see where to step oh. almost here see there's the, uh, the other famous part of Smith Rock right there you can't really see it because the lights in the camera look at that that's cool okay let's do this Take your time. <laughs> 
go slow, take breaks. Even an old man like me can do it. Okay. Where to now? Let's try this. feet. Let's see if we can get a, the best view here. That's pretty cool. Okay, where am I going to step? This is it. Oh man, this is this is now the very tip top highest point. Well, darn it, except for over there. <laughs> Don't look over there. That's not real, it's only a model. Okay. So technically that spot right there would be the highest spot. But I think I'm just gonna go good right here on the surface of the uh, It is windy and cold. side get a little bit more video over there Yeah. Um, I don't know. 
here, get a better view. This is always a little freaky. Ready? Here we go. Hold on. Yeah. I'm just kidding. I'm fine. Oh yeah, over here, I forgot. So there's a nice little trail that goes down and then uh, across the river, uh, next to the river, but there's, that's called uh, monkey face. Uh, because from the other side, it looks just like a face of a monkey. And that little, you know what, I'll go down there and show you, but people tightrope across that little opening right there between the two. So, the lighting isn't really great today and everything's, usually in the summer, everything's just bright green and blue sky, but you know, this is, this is uh, what, January 12th or something, I can't remember. There's, there's a big old rack right there, the river wraps, wraps right around. Got, we're surrounded by golf courses and ranches. Oh, the young people finally caught up. All right, we'll go down the other side. I'm trying not to document everything, but this is kind of a once in a lifetime documentary of climbing the whole thing. So I'm gonna turn the camera around here. It's just too bad my good camera died. It has a nice color. This one's pretty washed out, but this is, once you get to the top, this is going back down. Now you can go over here, and there's a cool little lookout spot. Yeah. Or you can go up there. Man, I really want to, but whew, I'm my legs are getting pretty tired. And I just did some jumps I shouldn't have done across the whole uh, crevices. So, my knees are kind of feeling it. I shouldn't have made that last jump. There was a, there was a big, uh, big opening like this, only way bigger. And, and I jumped down because I didn't want to uh, go the long way. Whoa, this can't be right. No. Okay, hold on. Okay, this must be it. Check this out. This, oh man, this is the view right here. I think this is even better than the other side, honestly. <laughs> okay, I found the right trail. It's a little steeper than I remember. You know what, maybe this isn't the right trail because those people are over there. I think I went the wrong way. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go over there. Well, now look, all I gotta do is get right here. I just crouched down. Okay, let me show you. This is the way I was supposed to come down. Nice, easy, well-worn trail. That's the way I came down. <laughs> I got off track somewhere. So I basically snowboarded my way down. Now I'm back to the normal trail. But see, there's a better view of that uh, monkey face and the whole river valley here. This is, God, it's really too bad my good camera died. I'm gonna have to come back and do this again. <laughs> You can't beat this view, it's just amazing. I've never actually documented the whole hike like this, so this is like virtual reality Smith Rock. If you ever want to come here, you'll know exactly what to expect. All right, there it is. So I'm gonna go around the other side of it, get a better shot in the sunlight. So you can see right there, in the summertime, that's where people tightrope. They put a tightrope across there. <laughs> And it looks small now, but if you were up there, that's crazy far, especially in the wind. <sighs> Insane people. All right, I had to get one more shot of this before I get to the bottom. There you go. Little hey, look at this. 
on the dark side of the mountain we got ice and snow <laughs> so now we got a slip hazard Whew. oh man we're almost there just gotta get right down there and we're good okay we're nearly at the bottom now you can see there's the river and there's I don't know if I can even see this with the yeah. We're at the base of monkey face. We're at the base of the face. So once we get a little bit further up, it's a really cool view. This is, they keep this here <laughs> for the uh, EMTs whenever someone falls or gets hurt. So you can see that they've got the crutches and the, and the cart to carry them out. This is a pretty easy trail now. It's pretty much just real slow decline. And in the summertime, there'll be snakes a lot of times just laying out here sunning themselves. I doubt we'll see any now. Too bad you can't really, can't really see this too well, but it's pretty neat looking. So there's monkey face. <laughs> I don't remember that big chunk being in the back of it though. Maybe that was there. But anyway, you can see it kind of looks like King Kong climbing the uh, mountainside there. I don't know why, I just love this spot right here. It's got all these, it's got all these natural holes in it and people put rocks in them. It's like a ancient filing cabinet or something. Pretty cool. Okay, so here's the thing. I totally forgot how long of a trail it was once you get to the bottom to get all the way around back to the front. <laughs> I basically thought once you got to the back, you were done, and I forgot it's like a, it's probably a good 45 minutes of walking once you get to the bottom, you know, because right now we're, we're basically on the back side of Smith Rock, and we have to walk all the way to the other end of it, and then around back to the front where we started, and the funny thing is, I think going uphill was actually easier because you can't really tell how steep this is, but my legs are <laughs> like completely vertical. So my whole body weight is just going right on my knees. And there's really no way to like get relief from that. You're just going straight down. You just have to stop every now and then. Oh man. Oh, uh, you can see monkey face again there. You can see the eyes. Whew. Well, at least once I get to the bottom bottom down by the river, it's just flat walking after that. So I can kind of get a good speed going, get a little jog going. I have no idea what time it is, but that's okay. Some days, just got to forget about what time it is. Don't plan anything. Just live in the moment. That's what I'm doing. Oh man, look at that house. Somebody's got some money. <clears throat> I call that house in the future. Okay, I'll get back with you.
It's a lot of ducks out here. You know, in the army, the worst soldiers are always guys that like to go bird hunting. It's because every time the commander yells, duck, they jump up and go, where? <laughs> oh, that joke was foul. But it quacks me up. Well, I have to hurry. A lady just called and she said her daughter's at the airport right now and she needs a ride out to Lapine, which is like an $80 run. <laughs> of course, she calls right when I'm out here. <laughs> See, people don't realize that here in Central Oregon, you can't just call and say, I need a ride right now. It doesn't work that way. You gotta call at least a couple hours ahead of time. See, because I could have could have already known she was coming in, and I could have could have cut this short. But I know what's gonna happen now. I'm gonna rush through this. And by the time I get to my car and get on the way, she's gonna go, oh, she got another ride. Guarantee you. That's okay. That's the way it goes. Sometimes you just gotta get out, you know? I work all the time. That's all I do is work. And I gotta start doing, you know, some fun things. Start taking some time off. Wow, look at that. Look at those greens. Whew, it's beautiful. It's like an ancient fortress. The river's right over there. Just can't see it right now. I'll see it in just a minute. A bit better view of them right here. So, I'm still a pr probably a good 15 minutes from the trailhead and then I gotta go up that super steep, super steep walkway at the end. And then I gotta walk back to my car. So, it's gonna be a while. I don't know if you can see it, but see all that red? There's the river and then the dry stuff. And then there's a whole bunch of red. Red bushes back there. Kind of reminds me of the fireweed in Alaska. Iron Man. See, we're at the this is the back side. This is a really neat area back here, especially during sunset. This is like the best time to be here. Easy up tight, easy. Now he's back in the middle again. Oh, that's what they're looking at. It's like, what is everybody looking at? There's a crazy nut on a tightrope. Yep. Oh, man. It's Spider Man. Look at these rocks, man. All right, well, we're back. 
there's the, uh, there's the path where we came down at the beginning. <sighs> that was a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. So far, it's been about four hours since I got here. I thought it was going to be maybe two at the most. <laughs> Look at this. Crazy. It's still pretty windy out here, but feels good. So this is by far the worst part of Smith Rock. After the whole day of hiking, you're dead tired, and then you got this straight up rocky trail. It just never seems to end. Every 10 steps, you feel like you're just gonna pass out. <laughs> oh man, this is the worst. Yep, and there it is. Back where we started. This is the real misery ridge right here. This is it, the very end. This is the absolute worst of the worst. When we hit the pavement right here. God, just straight up. <laughs> After you've been hiking for four hours. <laughs> Straight up. And not even any stairs or anything. Oh, man. Yeah, these last hundred feet are the worst of the whole day. Whew. My legs are like jelly. My knees are killing me. At least I'm gonna sleep good tonight, huh? I'm gonna eat so much food. Look at them down there. Look at those little ants. Whoo! Oh man. Okay. Let's do it. Oh, the last 50 feet. Come on. <laughs> Okay, this is boring. Goodbye, Smith Rock. Totally conquered you.